I'm here to talk about a lady. Well, you wouldn't quite call her that. A woman who's buried here, but you won't see her grave, I'm afraid. I was a newspaper reporter in Victorian times, and one name came up time and again. Minnie Maguire, one of the most notorious women in Cardiff. By her mid-teens, she was a convicted lady of the night, if you catch my drift. Arrested over a hundred times in her life, mainly for lewd and drunken behaviour. For example... Hang on a minute. Just hold on. I've got a few things to say about that. Just hold your horses. Hey, excuse me, but who the devil are you? What do you mean, who the devil am I? I'm Minnie Maguire, the one and only. And I've come back to set the record straight. You reporters, you only write one side of the story. Well... These good people are going to hear my side. Miss Maguire, I think you'll find the facts very much speak for themselves. For example, one July day in 1885, you were arrested for fighting and obscene conduct in Bridge Street. Over 200 men had gathered round to see you, causing an obstruction. That wasn't my fault. It was those excursionists from the hills that started it. They came here to Cardiff on the train, looking for a good time. Then they got a bit of drink inside them. Things might have got a bit rowdy, I'll give you that. But we weren't doing any harm. I got three months hard labour for that. Three months? Just cos I'm a woman. If I'd been a man, no one would have batted an eyelid. They didn't haul any of those excursionists in there with me, did they? No, of course not. Oh, come on now, Miss Maguire. It was an appropriate sentence, given your track record. Four years later, you were at it again, this time in Butte Street. You'd only just finished a three-month sentence. Well, what can I say? I never could resist a good knees up. Why don't we have one now? Look, I've even brought the booze. Oh, forgive me. Where's my manners? Oh, no, uh, no, thank you. Um, you were violent as well. One evening you poked a police constable in the eye with an umbrella. That got you six months hard labour. And then, after 83 appearances in Cardiff courts, she decides to go and terrorise Newport instead. She had been there less than a week when she smashed the windows of a public house because the landlord wouldn't serve her. What right did he have to judge me? Just as bad as the bloody cop as he was. You're all the same, the lot of you. You know, I walked up St Mary Street so many times on my way to court, past all those lovely shop windows. The ladies all la -de da in their skirts and parasols, and the gents in their suits and top hats. You know, it made me wonder, what if I'd had that right? What if I'd been born into that? There was a system in place, Miss Maguire, and it worked very well. People needed to know their place in it. Easy for you to say. This made everything better. My faithful friend. I mean, what else was I supposed to drink? We had no clean water round where I lived. Minnie Maguire died on the 19th of November 1919 in a workhouse for lunatics, the aged and infirm. At least I had a roof over my head when it happened. It's fair to say that alcohol would have played its part in her demise. According to her death certificate, she was only 54 years old. People like me didn't make old bones in those days. My bones are in the pauper's grave, under those bushes, just over there. I didn't get a nice stone like all these others. I didn't even get the space to myself. Because there's a couple of other folk in there with me. Still, at least I don't get lonely, eh? Well, I've said all I needed to say. Uh, time I was leaving. I hope you all found it informative, and I apologise for the, uh, interruption. Ta-da! Before you all go, I've got one last thing to say. It's, well, nice to know I'm remembered. If I'd had a fancy life back then, perhaps I wouldn't have made me mark. Back in my day, everyone in Cardiff had either met me or heard about me. 
so make sure you tell all your friends. So here's to me, Minnie Maguire, the most arrested woman in Victorian Wales. Oh. <laughs>